Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube, saying this in a very cliche way. But anyways, this vlog, me, Koki, and Steph, we decided to do a two-day trip uh, out up to Niigata. And I will be showing you guys the new R5C. I'm very excited for this trip because this trip will solely be focused on YouTube. Even though I've been shooting so many TikToks and reels the past like six months, now I'm back on the YouTube grind. So the first place on our itinerary is Kiyotsu Tunnel. Super well known for this like reflection like pool. I'll see you guys in the tunnel. So we finally get to the spot that everybody uh, basically comes here for, and it's like the reflection pond. We're gonna film some cool cinematic sequences here, and then let's see how they look. I'm about to fly FEV uh, in this nice little creek area. I'm basically gonna dive from up there, loop it, loop it around, and then see staff sitting on the creek bed. So we came up uh, all the way to this like nice scenic viewpoint, but two things happened. One, uh, the cable car ride is like closed, and two, we can't go up to the top because they closed the mountain. And it's like so close to sunset, and we don't like really have time to go anywhere else actually. I will show you guys a cool app that I use to figure out like how the sun positioning is and where the mountains will be. It's called Helios. It uses um, like your current GPS and you can kind of determine what time to so like noon and it's about five o'clock right now so 410 and this is like we can just see the landscape right even if we like left right now like to get to the other side of the mountain to catch the light by the time it's like 5 30 then it's just gonna run out and it's not enough time so uh, as we were coming back down the mountain we ended up like in this railroad crossing which I think is probably the best that we can do right now so we'll get some nice cool cool cinematic shots and see what we can do. I have faith, let's go. So after a long day, uh, we just arrived at our hotel and now we're about to check in. It looks super, uh, super, super posh. I don't know what this woman booked for us. How many is it gonna be like, no, like, oh, no, no, just, just ask the lady. The lady yeah, chooses. so which one do you want? I want all of them. Which one do you want? <laughs> one do you want? <laughs> okay. So this is the reason we booked this hotel. So I can take a bath. And watch Lular. Is it hot? Yeah. It looks really hot. Oh, shit. How to be a photographer, but...
Hi there. So we just made it to our first location. Um, this is, what's the name of the shrine, Steph? Something something Inari. <laughs> I think it's something something Inari shrine. I'll post it here. We'll shoot some nice cinematic content here. It's basically like two lines of like shrines, just like a bunch of them, just like layered. Yeah, it's very, very cool for shots. I might try to like put this on a gimbal and do like a 360 vortex mode, but we'll see. So yesterday when we were shooting, I realized that the battery didn't last so long on this camera. It was only like 20 minutes. I was so shocked. So because of this, I, I, luckily, um, I like rigged this up a couple days before, and with this V mount battery, this is like lasting me the whole day. I don't think I got like to half the charge, so you definitely need like an external battery if you're gonna use the R5C. Another thing I noticed was like you couldn't really play back in with the LUT applied if you're shooting like log. All the all the footage looks flat when you're doing playback, so that's the other con. But other than that, everything else is like performing super well. I really love this like rig setup. I feel like I'm holding it really high-end like camera rig setup right now. video without me showing one of my uh, iPhone tricks. So the first trick I'm going to show you is when you have your phone in time-lapse mode in 0.5 and you have somebody like a subject like Koki in the frame, you just shoot a time-lapse on a gimbal of him just walking straight and he's just going to be doing, what do you call it, the South Park wiggle wiggle or something? I just, I don't know, I just made that but up. The, the end result is actually pretty cool. It's just like, I you know you haven't tried it. It's going to be pretty cool. <laughs> right. Face that way and walk. Wait for the thumbs up. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> That's the best. Thing. So now we've got to camera for a um, we have about of light left. I'm trying to like set my FPV uh, really fast and just fly it off or we lose all the light. signal but I like ended up like turning the controller on and off again and it basically reconnected and I was able to catch it back but I was fully prepared to go swimming and get the drone and after I got it Steph and I ended up shooting a lot more nice content um, right before the sun goes down so I'm really excited to edit these pieces and see how they go but I think this is the end of my back to Tokyo uh, R5C vlog I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys next time <laughs>